Hey everyone, it's Deggy again. Um, I apologize for it being so long since I had, well, since I had a video up here. I've just been really busy these past few weeks, but now I've got the time to go ahead and I'm going to, well, I got the time to narrate a couple of videos, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that here for you. And right here, um, you see I'm just about ready to play against um, Sanguine Yeti, who seems to be playing some sort of Yaw Mega deck with Psychic. Um, and let's go ahead and get this started here. And right off the bat, he mulligans. And that Psychic Energy um, leads me to believe that he's playing either Jirachi or Mew. Um, my initial guess is probably Jirachi. Um, based on the trainers I saw, I don't really think he's playing Mew. Some sort of Mew lock with Vileplume or anything like that. So, I think he's playing something with Jirachi. And then we go first here, um, start the game. I always click Tails, but this time it's Heads. And he flips over Tyrogue and Yan Yama, so I knew I'm going to see some Yan Megas here. We go ahead and Collector, turn one. I also have a turn one Collector, so with my 60 hit point Buizel, I'm in the, uh, I, I don't fear being knocked out or anything. He searches his deck here. And when he grabs, uh, it surprises me a little bit. I'm gonna take. I'm not really sure how to deal with this, but he gets a Mew, another Yama, and then a Mincino. Um, and so which, and so the Mew throws me off first because I wasn't thinking he was playing Mew, and then the Mincino worries me. And he also attaches the double colors to it, which means that he can probably get a turn to Sincino. And his Tyro hits me for my Boozle for third, and I wake up. And so I just immediately Pokemon Collector. I have two of them in hand. It's the only supporter I have. Might as well use it. I, I grab a Cleffa because my hand is terrible. I grab my Squirtle. And here I probably make my first misplay of grabbing a second Boozle instead of getting a second Squirtle. I was worried that my Boozle already had 30 damage on it, and I didn't want it to get knocked out so early, so I grabbed another one. And what I really should have done is grab the second Squirtle. So I bench the Cleffa, attach to the double colorless to Buizel, retreat it, and then I'm going to eek because my hand is not good. I have no water energies. I have two rare candies and a war turtle. I could hold out a turn and get a war turtle, but I'd rather rare candy and the blast toys. But you see I eek, my Cleffa stays asleep, and the hand is still not very good. The Professor Oak is nice, but... Other than that, I have I don't have anything. So then here we go. You see, he does a Pokemon collector, or a, I'm sorry, a Pokemon catcher on my Squirtle, which is why I should have gotten the second one. So here I'm thinking he's just going to evolve into Sensino and then wipe everything I have in the next few turns. But actually, he evolves into Yamega and then plays Judge. Now I'm like, okay, it's no big deal because my hand was pretty bad. And you can see I do get Pokemon communication. Pokemon Collector and Professor Juniper and a Water Energy, so I'm thinking this isn't this isn't too bad. I can work with this, but I'm thinking okay, I'm gonna be down a Squirtle here, and I was like, how am I gonna recover? But he surprises me, <coughs> excuse me, and Linear attacks my Cleffa, so I was like okay, Squirtle lives for a turn. So now I have two choices here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. I can either play Pokemon Collector and then use my Pokemon Communication to get either a Floatzel or a War Turtle and so I can evolve either one of my bench Pokemon. Or I could just go ahead and play the Professor Juniper in my hand and hope to get something like a Rare Candy Blastoise with some maybe some Floatzels and some Water Energies. Um, either one is good, but you see here um, and, well, in hindsight, I probably would have preferred the Professor Juniper because I needed a stronger hand. It would have given me more cards in hand to work with instead of just these four, but we're going to go ahead and let's we'll start the video here again. And you see, I go ahead and play P Pokemon Collector. I decide to grab an extra Squirtle, actually two Squirtles, and then a Tyrogue because I already have my two Weasels and Tyrogue... Tyrogue, um was for bait for his Yamega. Because I want him to say, hey, there's a free prize on the bench, I'm just going to go ahead and take it. I don't want him to snipe my Buizel. Because I need it in play so I can keep using my Blastoise's Hydro Launcher attack. So anyway, I Pokemon Collector, 
I mean, Pokemon Communication, one of my Squirtles in the deck, get a War Turtle, bench the Squirtle, bench my other, bench the ty the Bait Tyroke, and then um, I'm attacking his active Yam Mega for 20, it's so later I can um, Hydro Launcher it for 100, and that'll be enough to knock it out. That's my plan. Now, with two cards in hand, it's going to be really hard to match my hand size, unless he plays, say, a Judge. But you see, he gets the second Yamega, so he's down to five cards. He's probably thinking, um, I, I, and what I'm weary about is the Cincino, but here he goes and he's going to Junk Arm, and I, I figure he's going to get either Pokemon Catcher or Pokemon Communication, but he gets Pokemon Catcher. I actually don't know if he used Communication, but he gets the Catcher, and this Catcher is now going to even hand sizes, and he's probably going to get, um, Oh, actually, at this point, I'm not sure what he gets. If I were him, I'd get my other Squirtle and knock it out with Sonic Boom. And he does bring up the Squirtle, and so I'm expecting it to be Sonic Boomed and then knocked out. But that's okay, because I still have a War Turtle on the bench with the Water Energy, so even though I'm down two prizes, this, I'm hoping this Professor Juniper gives me something really good. But we see, he goes ahead and just snipes around my Squirtle and hits my Bench Bleasel for 30. But I do get another Buizel, and here I debate attaching my Water Energy. But I was like, well, I'd much rather get Floatzel, another Water Energy, maybe a Double Colorless for War Turtle, and then maybe a Blastoise. So I just go ahead and press the Juniper that away. I do get Water Energy, Communication, Rare Candy, Sage's Training. So here, I get everything I need except the Double Colorless Energy. Put my Squirtle back in the deck. And here I grab a Blastoise. What I maybe should have done was maybe grab another War Turtle. Because here I miscalculated and I realized that I don't have enough water energies in play. I only have two. Even if I had the double car list, there was no way for me to get Squirtle out of the active. So he goes, his, I only have three cards in hand, so he goes, has him draw. Um, all he has to do is play one card, which he does. He puts his Psychic on Mew. Um, and here I expect him to either Linear Attack my Tyrogue or Sonic Boom Squirtle, but he goes ahead He goes ahead and puts 40 on Blastoise. So I evolve into Floatzel, and here I debate using Professor Oaks or Sages. And So I decide to use Professor Oaks to get six new cards. Hoping for that double colorless, and I still don't get it. I play four in the deck, I've only used one, and I still don't have any more double colorless energy. So I go ahead and just add my energies, but even after all this, I still only have four energy in play. So I evolve my active squirtle to war turtle, and I decide to move one of my water energies up to my war turtle. So I can go ahead and start sniping for 20. Now here I'm thinking which one to get, I just take the water off of Blastoise, because with his power, it doesn't matter where the water energies go. So here I'm thinking, and I decide to water arrow his second Yamego on the bench. It's so I can snipe it later with Blastoise. Well, that's the plan. But then you look at my hand here, and I don't really have anything. I don't have any way to get more water energies. I have no draw. I have two rare candies and a Pokemon collector. I'm pretty much stuck. I've been drawing dead almost a whole game. I haven't really got able to be set up, but here he goes and plays another Pokemon Catcher. And he's getting, well, he's thinking I have four water energies in play, so if he moves something to the bench I'll be good to go. But he brings up my Floatzel, and I'm thinking well, that's okay. Um, it has ten more hit points than Sonic Boom can do. I mean, Sonic Boom with a 70, and he can't plus power. But he goes ahead and attaches Double Colorless, and uses Juniper. 